So I, I think I will have the best looking slides tonight. <laughs> yeah. but, and, but anyway, we're all like technical people here, right? So I think everyone will be like looking at the, the content and, and not really the pictures. But maybe not. <laughs> yeah. okay. So my name is Wayne and I, I head up the, the tech team at Love Bonito. And basically we're a company founded in Singapore. Okay, uh, what, what do I do? Um, developer, sysadmin sometimes. DBA, not really anymore because uh, we just moved on to RDS. Okay, so I'm happy. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, and uh, sometimes we do a, a bit of uh, project management as well. Right. So, uh, I mean, what is Love Bonito, right? Anyone have, has anyone heard of Love Bonito before? Cool, very good, thank you. So, um, we're actually in um, women's fashion, okay? But then, uh, I think this is a very special case because men, men like me, uh, we never have uh, problems like uh, wearing clothes, right? It's just t-shirt and jeans. That's about it. But uh, women... It's different, it's just a uh, different league altogether, right? And, and if you speak to any of our uh, Love Bonito Pixies, right? You, you, you'll find out about um, our unique selling point, basically, which is... Uh, I think our clothes are pretty good quality, okay? And the fit is really good, uh, especially for Asian women, okay? And uh, at good price points, okay? And... Um, Obviously, things like construction and, and how uh, how the dress needs to fall over her body, right? That, that's important. I mean, my, my lizard brain will tell me that this is very nice. Right. So, um, of course, we, we want to we want to dress the women of today, but uh, beyond that, we we also want to inspire them to be the change for tomorrow. And and how did how did this act, how did this mission actually come about? Um, basically, one fine day we had a, we had one of our customers. Uh, she she shared with us a story. Okay, so she she actually had a brain tumor and and uh, and uh, she lost all her hair basically. So it was pretty sad. And uh, what she did was every day she would wear like a love bonito outfit so that uh, it it would help her to feel better basically. And. Uh, that was when we basically realized that we were onto something pretty cool, uh, at least here in Singapore. All right, and uh, we do this every year. Okay, so this 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 is one of our customers. Uh, so she wrote to us again, and and uh, she had a story. Uh, she's a single working mom and uh, abusive ex-husband and everything, and. Uh, she she felt like she was unlovable, okay, and and we and that's uh that's one of my bosses right there, okay. So we met up with her and everything, and I mean we're in fashion, right? So uh, the before and after. So I mean, she's happy, she's smiling, she's she's like a different person already. But uh, I think it's looking good on the outside and feeling good on the inside is it's uh, something that comes together. So I'm, 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 I'm very happy that we're in a position to be able to nudge her along the way. So uh, some numbers, oops. We're on Facebook, we're on Instagram as well. And uh, we get about 2 million, 2.4 million page views per month, okay? Now in the grand scheme of things, right, it's not like crazy amount of traffic, okay? But uh, it's actually enough to overwhelm our previous setup. And uh, we had a couple of problems, actually three, okay. So uh, we did this round robin DNS thing with the web servers, okay. So, th so uh, one of the problems was that the uh, session state. So it needs to be maintained across the server. So I actually increased the workload of the the database tier, okay. So I'll share more about that later, okay. Then uh, another thing is that the individual servers <laughs> need to be highly available. So I cannot take down on the instances to do a 
uh, update for security or whatever because I'm not sure when the DNS server will return me with the um, uh, the, the wrong IP address which, which is down basically right the third thing was uh, we found that the load distribution was not very even okay uh, the database tier was something that I think would be something that is critical uh. we call it a tier but actually it's just one one MySQL instance so it's quite scary because uh, if the database goes down right then I think it's quite difficult to recover uh, unless I call my infrastructure guy. And uh, how about backups? How about backups? The backups is actually being returned to the database itself, uh, so that's pretty bad. Yeah. And uh, on top of that, right, we have uh, our pixies. Right, they come and tell us, hey, uh, can we can we do like this product change? Uh, can we do like marketing discounts for Singapore? Or, or, or can we do like uh, certain whatever promotions? So this is like icing on the cake, you know. So a couple of problems we have. Uh, except, of course, there's this thing called uh, AWS. Uh, okay, it works pretty well. I, I, I met I met this guy. Uh, he he works for AWS, and he told me that uh, actually you can use uh, CloudFront with S3. So I'm like, okay. That's good for us because our architecture, I mean, our, our we're on like quite an old kind of uh, Linux uh, machine. So it, it wasn't the best, all right? And we were using uh, our web server to store the product images. So I cannot, I don't want to, I don't want to put the, the pictures in S3 basically, all right? So he said, oh no, why don't you give it a try, right? And uh, th that's basically what we did. La. So it, it was quite fast. The distribution you can create, uh, go create an account and you can do the free tier thing. Okay. And uh, it's fast and painless. Okay. And, and what the app change was that uh, what we had to do was change the base URL for the image. So that was quite easy. Yeah. So. Uh, we can do our staging. We actually have staging, uh, so that's not bad. <laughs> so, we <laughs> so we have staging instances. So we, we, we do the EC2. Uh, okay. So we're moving from San OS to Ubuntu. The reason why, because we have uh, PHP 5.3. Okay, so I didn't want to like uh, use a different, uh, different uh, a non-CentOS, uh, or rather a non-official repository. Okay. So we moved to Ubuntu, and I mean, so far actually, not much pressure, lah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that that was when that was when basically I wrote to I wrote to Lillian, and uh, we met up with uh, Rohini, okay, one of the solution architects, and uh, we asked for help. You know, like, uh, can we do this elastic load balancer thing? Or can we do this RDS thing, right? Uh, because we, we didn't have a lot of time, okay? Because uh, we had a we had a great Singapore sale coming up, and and I think after we had the chat, it was like ten days. Yeah, so in in ten days, right, we were able to copy our data over, and uh, we went live basically, right? Of course, we have a checklist and. We did a dry run three times or maybe more, okay? And our downtime was like 29 minutes, uh, so quite good relative to what we asked for. Uh. So, so uh, I think, I think uh, we, we took our first order within like 29 minutes, so that's pretty good. Okay. So, uh, results, right? So, uh, developers can focus on the app, we can work on the application itself, okay, so that's important. Web tier is load balance, uh, I think, yeah, I think elastic load balancer is also round robin DNS, right, okay. Uh, data is for, because we are on RDS, okay, so data is rep replicated across the AZ and um, magically back up, yeah. Uh, we tested, restore, restore works too, so that's great. Right, and for our great Singapore sale, right? 
basically we, we reach out to our customers online through through a mailchimp. Okay, so the EDM stand out, right? The first one hour, which which is like eight AM Singapore time. So we have quite quite good throughput, like fifteen X. And uh, the server didn't went down. So it, so so it's uh it's a testament to our customers and also um, the platform. Yeah. <coughs> but I mean I think I think we are really we're really very new to AWS. Uh. Okay, so I mean Cloudfront, EC2, ELB, RDS, these are uh, basically we're taking our application and transplant into AWS, right? Right. We make of course we have to make small changes lah. But but it's I think it's only the beginning. Okay. Uh what if we can do this? Sorry, I, uh, there's no text, but it's elastic beanstalk. Uh, okay, so what if we can, what if we can use the EC2 and ERB together? We can manage it together, right? As as uh, as an elastic beanstalk. Okay, or maybe we can do like the serverless lambda thing. I think that would be quite cool. Okay, and then maybe how about what is this? Sorry, this is. <laughs> This is, uh, I think this is Redshift. Yeah, what is it? What, this is Redshift, right? Yeah. So we can build intelligence. We have all this data about customers. So we, we can actually predict uh, sales volumes, order volumes. Okay. And we can also do product suggestions. We can do product recommendations because we have all the data already. So, okay, this customer always buys S or she always buys black. So we can even uh, start recommending products. So that's pretty cool, yeah. Uh, we are actually hiring. Thank you for for your time today, uh, for letting me share more about Love Bonito. We are hiring, and uh, to have fun with AWS, and like what Steve Jobs said, maybe make our own den in the universe. Thank you.